Hello, my name is David Willington. Well, you knew that because it says it right there, doesn't it? I live in Wigan in England and uh, for 40 years I worked in telecoms and then I decided to take early retirement to do what I love, which is uh, all things internet, helping people to succeed on the internet online. I do things like blogging, websites, search engine optimization, and um, do workshops that help people to understand technology. Simplifying technology. Uh, it's called Tech It Easy. Play on words there. A nice Wigan phrase, Tech It Easy. Anyway, Alan Jones asked me to share my story of how I came to faith. And it all started when I was around about 10 years old when one day my mum didn't come home from work and as you can imagine at 10 you're a bit concerned about that and I found out later that she'd had a problem with the inner ear her inner ear and that had caused a balance problem which ultimately resulted in her being stone deaf in that ear a visit to the doctor and ultimately to the specialist said sorry there's nothing we can do for you you'll have to live with it at least you've got one good ear uh, you just have to live with being deaf in the other ear well roll on a couple of years and we got a leaflet through our front door through the letterbox from a chap called Melvin Banks who was holding some uh, special meetings right across the road from where we lived in a marquee and on the leaflet it talked about all these uh, miracles that had happened when he prayed for people so he prayed for the sick and they got healed so my mum thought well I've nothing to lose here so she said I'm going to go across and I tagged along with her we left my dad at home watching his cowboy film and uh, off we trundled to the marquee. Melvin Banks preached a simple gospel message and afterwards said, anybody want to be prayed for? Anyone want to be healed? And my mum thought, right, off I go. So she trundled off to the front, sat down. Melvin Banks simply came, placed his hand on her head and prayed and instantly her ear opened. It was a miracle. Now, you can imagine how she felt. I mean, there were tears everywhere, so I think she was happy. <laughs> um, and, and you can imagine the effect on a, a, well, I was nearly 12 at that point in time. You can imagine how, how I was affected by that. Uh, I mean, God existed. God did things. God was real. God healed my mum. So off we went home, my mum burst in through the front door, well she opened it first of course, and uh, shouted to my dad, Fred, Fred, I can hear. What? What? So he turns off his uh, television, his cowboy films, and starts listening to the story. So my mum picks up the telephone and listens to the dial tone, something she's never been able to hear for a couple of years. And puts it down again, picks it up again, puts it down again, picks it up again. <laughs> and that went on nearly all night. Just the wonder of that. So you can imagine how that affected me um, at nearly 12 years old. And it was a few years later when I gave my life to Jesus. And, and I said to, to God, look, God, if this is real and people are talking about a relationship with you. I want this. I, I, I want to know you for real. Um, and, and, and I'm the sort of person that likes reality. Uh, I'm a, a practical guy. I'm, I'm into technology. And so, so I like proof. Uh, I'm a, a bit like Thomas, really. Thomas is one of my favorite Bible characters. Um, and so I wanted to know if this was for real. So anyway, in faith, I just said, Lord, I, wanna, I want you to come into my life and I want you to become part of my, my whole life. And I went to bed and I woke up in the morning and uh, something had changed. I, I looked at a tree and, and it was green. I mean, like vivid green and it was 
brilliant and and I didn't know what had happened but I knew something had changed something was very different and now I know of, of course that uh, I'd become a Christian Jesus had come into my life and he'd made things very very different and that was the start of my journey with God it all started because God showed me that he was real he showed me by healing my mum and uh, ultimately I came into a personal faith with him. So that's my story. That's the story of David Withington. Hope you liked it.